Hey guys, YouTube 100 here. All right, now here I am to review another one of the best matches in Halloween Havoc history. Now I'm going to talk about the match from Halloween Havoc 1996 be between Rey Mysterio Jr. and Dean Malenko for the Cruiserweight Championship. So, you know, let me just talk about like the Rey Mysterio Junior Dean Malenko rivalry for, for for a minute because I mean yeah I mean yeah this rivalry was like really awesome in 1996 like these guys really did work like great together and they like really had great matches you had like Rey Mysterio's WCW debut match at the Great American Bash that year you had the match on Nitro the night after Bash at the Beach in that year where Rey Mysterio won the cruiserweight title from Dean Malenko. I mean, yeah, just, yeah, these guys just had, had, like, a great rivalry in 1996, and plus, yeah, the Cruiserweight division, it was just a great division. I mean, you could, you could, like, really make the argument that the Cruiserweight division was really, like, the most interesting thing about WCW, and the Cruiserweight division really, like, did, like, steal the show a lot of the times in WCW, like, basically, like, during the whole Monday Night War period, like, the Cruiserweight division was, like, really one of the best things of WCW, like, the Cruiserweights were just always great, and the Cruiserweights always, like, really did, always worked their asses off, and they really did, like, steal the show on WCW, I mean, the Cruiserweight division, of course, you had, like, these two, Rey Mysterio Jr. and Dean Malenko, but you also had other guys, you, of course, like, had Eddie Guerrero, Oh, you had, like, Psychosis, La Parca, Juventud Guerrera, like, and even, like, Chris Jericho was classified as a cruiserweight in WCW, and even, like, I think Chris Benoit was even, like, classified as a cruiserweight also. Yeah, I mean, you had, like, some great talent in the cruiserweight division in the WCW. And, yeah, as I said, these, like, these kind of matches, like, really did always, like, really delivered, and they always just turned out being great, and, yeah, these really did end up stealing the, sh the show, and this match was no exception. Rey Mysterio Jr. vs. Dean Malenko for the Cruiserweight Championship at Halloween Havoc 1996. It was, like, another great match, just like these guys had throughout 1996. I mean, like I said, with the Great American Bash and the Nitro after Bash at the Beach, and, you know, like, there are other matches that they had in 1996. I mean, these guys just, like, worked really well together, and they always had great matches. Yeah. Halloween Havoc 1996 overall, it really was not a very good show. I mean, it wasn't, like, horrible or anything, but, I mean, it really was pretty, like, mediocre, to be honest. I mean, I mean, like, you did have, like, some good stuff on the show, but, I mean, nothing about it really does stick out, to be honest, well, aside from this match. Yeah, you had, like, this match that opened up, and it was a great match. Yeah. Had DDP versus Eddie Guerrero, which was, uh, it was decent. Had the Giant versus Jeff Jarrett, which ended in disqualification, which was just kind of a so-so match. X-Pac or Six versus Chris Jericho, that was just another thing that was just kind of so-so. Lex Luger versus Arn Anderson, I mean, that sucked. Like, yeah, I mean, Chris Benoit and Steve McMichael versus the Faces of Fear was just like another kind of decent, uh, like, so-so match. The Outsiders versus Harlem Heat for the Tag Team Championship was, I guess, pretty good. But then, like, the main event of this show, Hulk Hogan versus Randy Savage, it really was not good at all, and it was basically just like a comedy segment. And are just like a a comedy match all together, like Hulk Hogan wearing that wig and stuff. And plus, like these guys just really didn't work, like really like anywhere near as good as they did like in 1989, like leading up to WrestleMania five and even like the whole their whole rivalry over 1989. But yeah, I mean, that match here on this show it was like just really bad. But I mean, yeah, this this match. Rey Mysterio Jr. vs. Dean Malenko, yeah, this was obviously, of course, the best match of the night, and yeah, this was really the match that did steal the show, oh, here, and yeah, it was just a really great match, I mean, 
like I said before, these guys just really worked well together. I mean, just their two different styles really did, like, well when going up against each other. You have, like, Dean Malenko's technical wrestling style. I and with Rey Mysterio's high-flying acrobatic style. I mean, these guys just could, like, with their styles, they could always just really work well together and have a great match with their different styles. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, it was just, like, a really, really great match right here. I would probably give this match, I don't know, probably either, like, four stars or four and a quarter out of five. I don't know. I mean, you'll see my final rating for it down in the description box, but, yeah, this was just, like, a really, really great match right here. Yeah, so let me just talk about the match. So, yeah, one of the, like, big things going into this match, like, one of the big personal things was that Dean Malenko had stolen one of Rey Mysterio's mask, that's, like, leading up to the show, and Dean Malenko came out with the mask he stole from Rey Mysterio, and, like, really early in the match, like, Dean Malenko got a hold of the mask again, but then Rey Mysterio, like, took out Dean Malenko, and then he got the mask back, and then he took off the mask that he was actually wearing out to the ring and then he put on the mask that he got back from Dean Malenko so I'm not really sure why he actually bothered to change the mask because I really didn't see anything wrong with the mask he was wearing plus the mask he got back really didn't match the wrestling tights that he was wearing where the mask as the mask that he wore when he came out did and plus like the first mask he wore it's actually similar to the masks that he really does wear now where it covers up his whole head where like where the mask he got back from Dean Malenko it was just basically just covered up the front part of his face and really you saw like the back of his head was really exposed so yeah I really didn't see why he really felt the need to change into his other mask but you know it's fine yeah and of course like Dean Malenko like, did a lot of submissions in this match. He, like, went for the Texas Cloverleaf and half Boston Crab, a scissors lock around the head. And he tried, like, a... He did a... Like, a sleeper hold along with a body scissors to Rey Mysterio. Yeah. And, of course, like, they, like, did some battling on the turnbuckles. Like, Rey Mysterio did a lot of, like, flying around. Like, he... he like, would went flying over the top ropes down to Dean Malenko, and he also, like, did some, like, some moonsaults from the outside of the ring down to the floor onto Dean Malenko. Yeah. And, yeah, it was just, like, a really, really great match. Like, it just was a really good back-and-forth match. Both of these guys... I got in their share of offense in, and both guys really looked good in here. It wasn't like one guy was dominating for the whole thing, really. Yeah. And as I said, Dean Malenko just, he had like a load of submissions here and executed them really well. And Rey Mysterio also got his fair share of moves in. At one point, Rey Mysterio tried to go for like the Hurricane Rana to go for the pin, but Dean Malenko survived it. And I think like Dean Malenko was one of the first guys to really survived the Hurricane Rana in the WCW from Rey Mysterio. Yeah. I really did like at one point Rey Mysterio tried to go for the West Coast pop onto Dean Malenko and then go for another Hurricane Rana, but Dean Malenko countered in, into a power bomb. Yeah. And at one point, like, both guys were, like, battling on the turnbuckle again. Rey Mysterio tried to go for the Hurricane Rana onto Dean Malenko down to the ring again, but Dean... Malenko, like, held on and stayed on to the turnbuckle. And then Rey Mysterio tried to go for it again, but then Dean Malenko was able to fight Rey Mysterio off, and then it was just a really awesome ending where, like, like, Rey Mysterio was, like, leaning over the ropes or something, and Dean Malenko, like, like, picked up Rey Mysterio looking to, like, basically, like, hoisted him up over his shoulder and then just executed it into a power bomb from the top turnbuckle down to the canvas and then Dean Malenko got the pin and he defeated Rey Mysterio and then Dean Malenko won the Cruiserweight Championship back. So, I don't know. I mean, for Dean Malenko winning for me, I mean, it's not really like I really had a problem with it, but I don't know. It's just... After, like, re-watching some of these matches, like, I rewatched the Great American Mash match and the Nitro match. I don't know. After seeing Dean Malenko rigging the title here, I don't know. It just kind of... Like I said, I don't really have a problem with it, but it just kind of looks like a little upsetting to see, like, Rey Mysterio winning the 
a title from Dimolenko. And then losing it back to the same guy that he won it from all these months later. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know, it's just kind of upsetting to see that in a way. Because, I mean, you see a guy that was basically, like, really doing... And, like, really working to win a title like that. And then just to see them, like, kind of lose the title back to the guy that they won it from. I don't know, I mean, I just... Yeah, it's not really like I really don't like that, but it's just kind of upsetting to see in a way. I don't know if, like, what I'm saying is making sense, but, you know, it's just like, yeah, well, yeah, it's just, like, kind of upsetting in a way to see, like, Rey Mysterio lose the title just right back to the guy that he won it from months earlier, but, you know, it's, it is what it is. I mean, it's not really, like, that big of a deal, so, yeah. I guess, yeah, nothing really wrong with it, like, it's just fine, and yeah, still a really great match, and yeah, just some great stuff here, like that awesome ending, and the counter from the Hurricane Run into the power bomb and just all the high-flying spots here, I mean, it's just like, yeah, this is a really, really great match. Like I said, I would probably give this either four stars or four and a quarter, yeah, as I said, my final rating for this match will be in the description box, and uh, yeah all I really can say about the match, I mean, yeah, just a really great match, and as I said, I mean, just, yeah, this, stuff like this with the cruiserweights, this was just, like, the stuff that really did steal the show most of the times in WCW, and, but, of course, like, the stuff with the cruiserweights and stuff, like, the, what the cruiserweights were able to do, ooh, like, shown in this match, it would only be set even higher or the Cruiserweight title match that occurred the next year at Halloween Havoc. And so that is what I'm going to be talking about next. That's the next match that I'm going to be reviewing in this series of the best matches in Halloween Havoc. Alright, but anyway, yeah, that... So, I guess that does it for my review of Rey Mysterio vs. D. Malenko at Halloween Havoc 1996. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the match. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.